all right guys i'm back with another video thank you all so much for watching my content like watching my videos give me likes you know what i'm saying i appreciate it you know what I'm saying we growing you know what I'm saying make sure we continue to grow make sure you like the video please ask any questions in the comment box below yeah make sure y'all like this this is gonna be a good one this is uh, about the truth about women when you practice body game this is gonna be the truth i'm gonna just explain everything i'm gonna get right into it and just really tell you like some things you probably probably may know but you don't know for sure and this is kind of you know what I'm saying let you guys know that you you know what I'm saying this is what you can achieve or if you have experiences that you're not crazy you know what I'm saying so I really really want to do this video thanks so much for supporting but let's get into it so we are going to be talking about the truth about women when you practice body game so as y'all know for me for uh you say my name is Josh you know what I'm saying I'm in the city and um, basically, you know what I'm saying, I practice body game. I've been working on my body for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I've been like hitting the gym regularly. I have like more of a calisthenic type body. That's the type of workouts that I do. But I mean, when it comes to women, man, I I, um, I definitely want to talk more about this and I want to talk more about what happens when you practice body game. But one of the main things that I see a lot happening on in the community or like what people talk about is that women, older women go crazy, man. Like older women, uh will say some wild stuff to you will do some wild stuff you don't check it and you know what i'm saying they like body game the most you know what i'm saying they gonna be the most <laughs> they gonna be the most upfront. like you know so i'm just thinking of things but um from my experience i don't work there no more but i used to work for uh home depot way back when you know what I'm saying if anybody who followed me you know what I'm saying who worked with me back then but yeah basically man i just i have countless experiences with women in general with home depot but more so like older women man i had instances where older women would come up to me like literally touch me on my back my shoulders touch my body actually if they can rent me like rent me out like literally like i'm a u-haul truck or something like that basically like yo like how much is it a wrench you know what I'm saying flirt with me touch with me you know what I'm saying? Like really just, you know, blocking me. You know say other customers will come up to me and be like, hey, I need some help with it. Like they would stop the customer and be like, no, he's busy, he helped me out. So you need to go find somebody else. And I would think they would be joking. They were dead ass, bro. There's so many, I have a lot of story times on that if you guys want that, but literally they was just like, can you help me, can you help me put this, this toilet in the car? Like it was just leaving tips, tipping me, leaving me like, Big tips, we weren't supposed to take tips, but listen, that was lunch, that was Chick-fil-A. I ain't gonna turn down the Chick-fil-A tip. I returned some of it, you know what I'm saying? But some of it, you know what I'm saying? I was a little hungry. Sorry, Home Depot, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was not paying us back then. But um, but yeah, basically what the truth is like, yeah, older women are gonna go, go hard for you, you know what I'm saying? They are gonna protect you. And it's sometimes it can be a little weird dynamic because it's like they trying to get at you, but they still trying to make it seem like they not trying to get at you. So they just trying to say like, oh, nephew, oh, you so young. Oh, how old are you? Oh, you a baby, all this. But yet they throwing signals at you. You know what I'm saying? So that's a common thing. You know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not nothing weird. Don't be afraid. You know what I'm saying? When you're younger, you probably are going to be afraid because you just don't know what to do and everything like that, especially if you're like 18. It's going to be a little strange for you because you just now get into the world. You just now experience in life you know what i'm saying you got a lot to learn my guy but that's something off top that's gonna happen to you man like just just get prepared for that um next thing is women do not treat every guy the same like please do not think that women are not on their phones bro do not think that they are falling falling asleep early do not think that she did not see your message when I tell you women had a phones fully, I've never seen a woman go out in public with a dead phone. Never seen, never. And it's like, it's like their phones don't never die. I so said they easily, they either have like the newest iPhone or whatever like that, or it's just like, they text so much more than men, bro. Like women send so many more texts and it's so quick. Like it's like text and text, like just, holding conversations, holding people who, anybody who gives them attention or anybody like any guy who's like, you know, hyping them up, liking them, they write, they talk so much through text, bro. So don't be one of those guys who just like get caught up in text messages. Like you got a texting friend, like y'all, especially if you older, bro, like don't do that, bro. Like ain't no fun in texting a woman. Like I'm sorry, that might sound a little crazy, but I'm not about to be 
you know, I'm not a Texan, a keyboard warrior when it comes to like a woman that I like. Like we not about we not doing that. That's another thing. You know, so they always on the phone, they always texting. You know what I'm saying? They don't treat the guys the same. You know what I'm saying? If they feeling you, they are responding like this. They are responding, they are responding, responding. You can damn near not be making a mistake. So, you know what I'm saying? When you get your body right, when you understand that, like, only time, only thing you really gotta do is just shut up. Like, don't say the wrong shit. That's when shit start. That's when it started going, getting better for you. When you start just like, don't, don't mess it up. Just, just stay mysterious. Just don't say the wrong thing. Life is just so much better. It takes, it takes a minute for you to learn that. But that's a part of the game. That's a part of your process. Just, you know what I'm saying? Don't put your foot in your mouth. Sometimes don't say certain things. You know what I'm saying? Don't be so jittery when you say it. Like, it just come off as like, yo, like this, you, you, you knew. You know what I'm saying? You knew to this. Like, or you're not, you're not used to having a bad, you know what I'm saying? You ain't used to, you know what I'm saying? You just, you knew. You're a freshman, basically. So, that's the main thing. You're saying they don't treat you guys the same. And then basically also, um, oh, they approach. Oh, this is another thing. This is another thing. A lot of times, like, I've been seeing a lot of videos because, um, you know, see, this ain't, this really ain't no Steph is Cold type channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, like, really telling y'all from experiences. I'm not really telling y'all what to do. But, you know what I'm saying? If you have an experience, this, this is kind of, like, interesting. And then, too, like, if you have experiences, this is, like, it's good to hear that other men are already dealing with this. What, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> but basically, bro, approaching dudes who are in body game or like who have a lot of money or who have uh fame status whatever like that women go out of their way i tell you women go out of the way to choose like a lot of people are like oh yeah wait for like choosing signals oh no wait for them to flirt you know what i'm saying or hit them with a punchline hit them with a hey how are you doing you know what I'm saying? they give you game what to say bro no bro when you got you know what I'm saying? When you got a body you know what I'm saying? or you got money or you got all three or you got motion, bro. Women, I'm talking about some strangers will come up to you. They will stare you down. Like this, this happens to my friends. This happens to me. Like they will stare you down. And don't have a nice car. Don't have a. You know what I'm saying? Don't have a a, a challenger or something like that, bro. Like they will stare you down. They'll follow you. They'll ask you how old you are. That's a big thing. Like I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna do videos of basically of uh, like what certain things mean because a, a lot of women speak in code but when somebody asks you how old are you oh that's gold that's go time but um but yeah this is like bro they women get more confident the better they feel like you are like if you if they feel like you top tier oh they're going to shoot their shot they're going to say what they got to say and they're not going to wait and let time pass because they already feel like somebody else is already doing that so or they already feel like you talking to somebody else you might not be in a relationship, but they feel like you're talking to like multiple. They like, nah, like this is my shop. Like they gonna say what they gotta say, and they gonna say it bold. They not scared, so don't think. You know, so everybody's talking about like approaching, like, oh yeah, find out what you say. with body game, bro. They gonna find you. You know what I'm saying? You might not like this one. You might not like this one. Somebody gonna say something to your ass. Like it's not even the fact that like if you want them to or not, or if you attract to them or not, it's not your choice. Body game, they gonna choose who they gonna choose, and nine times ten. It's gonna be you because they're gonna feel like all right, your body, you know what I'm saying, your body fire. You feel me? It is what it is. I can see, I can physically see this. Like, what's your name? What's up? Like, um, that happens a lot, bro. Especially in the black community, bro. They will come to you. They will or they will present themselves to you. They'll kind of be like sit, they'll sit by you. And you'll be like, I don't even know you, you know what I'm saying? They'll be close to you, everything like that. But they go out their way, bro. <laughs> they go out their way. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all that now. Please do not think. You know, so everybody is just saying some pickup lines, like coming up to women like, hey, uh, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Bro, body game folks do not really do that. Somebody is approaching you, you know what I'm saying? But it's like with body game, you do want to get into the point where you're approaching the women that you like, because women are going to approach you, but you might not like them. So get into the habit of doing that. But I have videos on that coming up, because y'all like to use in the series. But um, other than that too, I'm trying to think, um, oh listen oh no no no. the bad okay the baddest women only hang out with bad women bro i don't know what it is like everyone's like oh yeah she may have like like a friend that's kind of like below her or whatever no bro when you're dealing with a uh, attractive girl it's like they're friends women can't control really the friends that they have but like if she a top tier woman it's like all her friends are on a shit like they're on there they're like it's like they come in packs like it's crazy it's like 
they just i don't know if it's like an attention thing i'm not really gonna get into it but i'm just saying they they roll in packs bro it's not just if you see one it's not only one bro it's not <laughs> bro. a lot of times they go to the club whatever it's not just one do not think it's just one or they don't have a baddie friend whatever like that so you know say if you choose it make sure you choose up front because once you choose that's yours you can't well i don't know what you can do but you know what i'm saying you're gonna cause some friction in the group the group if you do if you 